Hi, my name is Joe Keating. I'm the Senior Director of Applications Engineering for Infinite Power Solutions. We're a Denver, Colorado-based manufacturer of Thinergy MECs, or microenergy cells, which are thin film, solid state, rechargeable batteries. <coughs> Today I'm going to be talking about our IPS Eval EH01 Energy Harvesting Evaluation Kit. This is a tool that IPS has made available on the market for developers who are attempting to create what we refer to as autonomous or perpetually powered uh, nodes or wireless sensor products. It has a uh, amorphous silicon solar panel, one of our microenergy cells, this is our MEC201-7S product which has 700 microamp hours or 0.7 milliamp hours. This is a rechargeable cell that uses the energy that is uh, incident or light that is incident on the amorphous solar panel morphous silicon solar panel to recharge the microenergy cell. The energy from the microenergy cell is then used to power any kind of application or product that the developer would like to uh, see if they can use in an energy harvesting or um, a similar type of environment. So in order to demonstrate that, uh, I've also brought with me uh, TI's MSP430 EZ430 RF2500 development tool. And this comes with several pieces. The first is, uh, is the wireless sensor node, or MOTE, which you can see right here. This has an MSP430 and a uh, CC uh, radio on it, that 2.4 gigahertz, and uses a TI Simplicity, which is a Zigbee-like protocol to transmit information, in this case it's programmed to transmit temperature, to a uh, receiver node, which has a similar node in it that plugs into a USB port. So you can take this device and plug it into your laptop, into a USB port, and now you have the ability to create a very simple wireless node or wireless network. The key though is, is that this device, this TI product, also comes with these. Now these are, uh, you know, traditional uh, alkaline AAA battery, um, and this, this type of cell is not rechargeable. This is what's known as a primary cell. So what you want to do with these is you want to take them and you want to recycle them. Because the problem is, is that if I were to develop a traditional sensor node using those types of batteries, let's say that I wanted to have a temperature sensor somewhere in my house or in my um, building or in, in, in my office, for example, um, what's going to happen is, is those primary non-rechargeable batteries are going to die. And that means that I'm going to have to send somebody out to replace those batteries so that you can see if you had a uh, building or inf installation or facility that had, say, several hundred sensors in it with non-rechargeable batteries, you're going to be spending a lot of time, it's a lot of cost to the owner to go out and replace all of those uh, non-rechargeable batteries. So what the eValley H01 kit allows you to do is you can replace those cells or, or your traditional power solution with one that will pr produce an autonomous powered solution. So if I plug in my uh, sensor node into this and then I enable my device, it will begin to transmit. So if I go and I open up this, this GUI, graphical user interface that we've developed, what it's going to do is it's going to come up with my base node temperature, which is the temperature at my laptop, but also it's going to put this little extended node out here, which is showing me the temperature from my transmitter. Now there's some data you can get off of this. So right now I'm transmitting back temperature, so it thinks it's about 87 degrees out here. It's kind of hot under these lights, and if I put my thumb on the sensor, we'll see that the temperature will go up slightly. Um, we see that we get 3.3 volts, which is the voltage from the regulator that is supplied to this device because the MEC produces 4 volts, and we use this Maxim 17710 power management IC to regulate that down to 3.3 volts. The 17710 also regulates the charge potential that's put onto the MEC, so it prevents you from over-discharging or overcharging the battery and also provides uh, regulated output voltage for you. So it's sort of a, a single solution um, for the entire energy harvesting process right here. So we have our energy harvester, which is a solar panel, our power management IC, and our microenergy cell all powering this node. Now the interesting thing about this is because our MECs have extremely long lifetime, because they're solid state, they don't contain any liquid electrolytes or any organics or solvents as other traditional batteries do, this MEC can last for at least 15 years or more. 
in the application. So that means that if with a small solar panel and MEC in my transmitter, I can put this in my building, harvest the light from the building while the lights are on the day, on during the day, and the transmitter, the wireless sensor, will essentially operate autonomously for an indefinite period of time without any maintenance, providing the lowest cost of ownership to the end user. So this shows a very simple way to develop a quick kit. Now any other application, other sensors people might want to see like vibration or strain or there's all kinds of things, biometric data, uh, footsteps, heartbeat, things like that. All of that can also be incorporated in the same kind of system using uh, various types of energy harvesters in addition to solar. The Eval EH01 has the ability to take thermoelectric generators because it has a built-in boost converter. So if you have a low voltage, like say a couple of a tenths of a volt, or up, at, up to say a half a volt or something like that, you can boost that up to the four volts required to recharge the MEC. It also has inputs for AC. Um, so there's various types of energy harvesters that produce AC uh, energy, such you know alternating currents, such as piezoelectric devices, electrodynamic devices, where you might have a magnet going through a coil, uh, RF, radio frequency, type devices also produce um, AC output. All of those can be rectified through the onboard Schottky rectifier that the eVal EH01 has. You can also put on external DC devices as well if you have a, other solar panels or things like that that you want to try. But either way, this, this kit gives you a one-stop solution for very quickly enabling your uh, energy harvesting uh, solutions to create autonomous, autonomously powered uh, devices, sensor nodes, etc. If you have any questions, additional questions about this solution or our other products, please go out to our website at www.infinitepowersolutions.com. Thank you.